Good morning, guys. This is Kenzo Extra Hot Forex. So let's go straight to our daily analysis Friday. And guess what? We had a very great, great uh, trading week. So I think this week we never had a loss. Every signal was in profit, even if we had very few uh, signals. But you know what? We never lost anything. As I said on Sunday, I said we're going to have a very nice winning streak. But at the moment, we're just waiting for the market to give us those rejections before we can say we need to buy again because the market is already high. But I saw that NASDAQ and US data, they were all trying to, to, to give us some, some, some rejections. So now I will start with the Euro USD. As you can see, you can see this, this, uh, this, this uh, ranging market is persisting. You can see that. So the market is not breaking out of this. But here we are again, very close to our support. If you saw that, it means you can have a nice buy here. Maybe the market will push up. But the best thing that you should know about the ranging market is the market can create some crazy move, breaking this support or resistance. Because actually, the market is still deciding. But for now, and pushing. Uh, for now and going like later afternoon, I think we're going to have some very nice moves. Why? We have NFP today. They, so those figures, whether they're positive or negative, we're going to see the market shooting up or the market shooting lower. I hope you can understand that. It's quite simple. But at the moment, that you, something that you can do is don't waste your time at the moment on your USD. You can see that we are very, very like locks in these walls, resistant and support. But we can say maybe just because we are very close to the support, let's say if the market will be around this area before the, 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 the NFP release. So the market, that's possible that the market can push up trying to respect, trying to respect the support. But I'm not saying just jump on that. We will see that later. So it's where you should be in the group because you're going to get this type of uh, update, you see. So uh, let's see what it's happening. Let's see what it's happening. So from here, I think we just, we, there's nothing that, there's nothing much that we can do since we are still in this, uh, uh, range it so we just wait for the market to break these areas but i think maybe we'll see what will happen later on or during the day maybe the market will change the direction so yeah but that's what i see on euro usd so let's go to us oil so us oil is like it's now trying to give us those sales move because remember this thing was just pushing higher and higher if you still remember look you can see here, you can see the market was just keep, uh, pushing higher. Then now the market started to give us this range market here, which means the market might break. You see, and that's happened. Whether maybe it was going to break on the resistance or, or, or support, but we saw, we see that the market uh, now decided to break. So it means maybe it's a new start of a trend we can see that uh, the market is now breaking the support. Now it's starting to do something like this. And this seems to be a retest. So which means we can, when we look at our left, there is an area, there's an area that we can say maybe that we can consider that a support or something like that, because I can see it here. Do you, you see that? Let me throw that. It's also an area, but the thing is, we don't have to get lost because of this previous area, because they will always be there. If you look at your left, they will always be there. So try to make things nice, try to connect the dots, because sometimes they like be seriously confused. But the best thing that you can do, wait for the market to create that structure. Wait for the market to create that structure before you start to connect, because the market will give you a clue uh, on what it's happening. Look here. Me, I don't know if this is a clue. Look this and look at this area. That might seem to be something.
But when it comes back again, the market just broke that, and now it's back here again. So the best thing that you can do is we still need some like serious confirmation. But still, if maybe you trade in according to this breakout here, the first breakout of this resistance, it means you're just going to do it to sell. You're not going to look at your left or whatever, as long as maybe you saw that, okay, there's a breakout. Once this happens, you can just continue to sell. But we don't know if the market is going to push lower or higher because later on that can also change the market direction because of NFP. So the thing is, wait for the market to give, if maybe the market is going to respect this area, wait for it to give you a nice a structure or maybe it's going to do something like this so wait for the market to retest there several times to create that structure before you can jump in because if you just jump in early guess what sometimes you're going to pay or sometimes you can be lucky so it's due to two but it's better to profit on something that you saw before something that you understand so that tomorrow or another next day you're going to repeat the same thing not just to profit without, you don't even understand how did you make money? Why is the market moving in your direction? Why is that happening? You don't know. Then that way, uh, you're still playing games. You're still playing games. So let's go on gold. So on gold, we see that the market was just on a very, very, very nice uptrend, which I repeated several times. We were making money around this area. Boom, guess what? The market broke that. Then the market is creating something like this, you see. So what happens here is it seems like the market is coming back again. Let me just do something like this. Remove that. Try to push our support back here. So because the market is trying to, it, it seems like it's coming back to that support which was broken and retested so you see i hope you see that let me remove this so that you can able to see so from this it means we have a bit it's not really confusing to on my side on my side it's not really confusing because i can see this structure i see this structure you see this but here the market is breaking this area which we, 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 we thought maybe it's going to continue as a, a downtrend, but now the market broken out of that, and we see that the market retested. So we just want to see if the market is going to break this area or is going to come back and continue pushing higher. So it means at the moment, if maybe you don't consider this, yeah, but I, sorry, I think, yeah, you can still say, man, this is an old, uh trend yes is your right you can just remove that but you should be careful because uh, this thing can just retest anytime soon so but what i like is i see that the, we have a a rejection which shows that the market is inspecting this area now so but for me to jump on this one it means i rather lose this opportunity i rather uh, miss this opportunity then i rather wait for a small a pushback or rejection before I can say I will just jump with it because the market won't just go this way forever. We know that the market will come back. So why is the hurry? Why are you running? Why are you running in the market? So wait, wait. If you see that this thing is confusing you, but if maybe you don't consider this, it's fine because uh, you're not going to consider like. It's not going to be a resistant or something for you. So it means you're just going to go straight with, uh, with this breakout and start to buy from this area, which is also fine uh, with your strategy. You see, so let's go straight to NASDAQ 100. So on NASDAQ 100, this thing is like flying, guys. It's flying. So I'm tired of throwing the... I'm tired of throwing the counter trends lines now. So what I'm going to do is to wait for this thing to just come back a little bit before. Because if I do that, I am still going to have like multiple of them. You see, I have this one. I have this one here. I also have the strongest one here. So this thing is just going straight up, which means sometimes if you get here, sometimes you might pay a very, a very, very, very hefty price. So 
you don't have to play like that. So it means wait for a smaller rejection, wait for a smaller rejection before we can see the market pushing up, before we can see the market pushing. I hope you understand that rest. But it's possible that uh, the market can still push up during NFP. But maybe, you remember, maybe the, there will be a rejection before it pushes up. Or maybe we will see a just straight rejection or maybe the market will just push up. So the best way is to wait for the market to give you a clue. If it starts to push a little bit higher, yes, you can jump on the market if you have something like a resistance here, something that you confirmed. But I would like to see the market rejected a little bit before I can say, you know what? I still need to buy. But here it's scary and it, it's, it's, it's sad because when we are here, we can miss some nice trades because when the market is trying to push up, the thing is when you look at your left, you don't see anything that you can rely on, which means you just own your own. So it means once you buy, what if it turns back? So anything can happen. And the thing is, once you don't enter from there, sometimes the market can give like thousand pips or whatever pips that the market can give. And guess what? You can miss that. I remember, I think it's yesterday or day before that, we also no, I think it's uh and if, sorry, Fed interest rates. On Fed interest rates, we also missed. I, I think it's this move or something. I don't know why, because the market was already high. I think it's this one. The market was already high. So you don't know if maybe if you enter the market, we just reject it because you know how we think and the experience that we have tells us maybe the market will go down, then the market goes the opposite way but it's you should also make sure that you are safe because this thing is very high at the moment when it goes down it can just go very 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 quick but what i like is when you trade nasdaq it also recovers very quickly so it's not a problem if you, you apply your risk management yeah so we are on us dating please guys if you forgot to hit that subscribe button uh, you can smash it now uh, i'm just waiting for you now uh, thanks to everyone who already subscribed. So we are on US data. This, uh, I think I drawn this yesterday when we were taking a trade, we made a nice profit. Uh, guess what? This one, I like this move that I see on US data. Why? Because it's not as crazy as what we saw on, on NASDAQ 100. So it means that we see that there is a very, very nice simple straightforward uh, uptrend you should you can see that so what do we expect on this one i think on nfp i'll be just watching this thing i will be watching this thing so if it's going to be here i'm just going to say okay wait only two seconds i mean two minutes and see if the market is not breaking this uh, support so it means i'm going to have some buy pending order around this area when it goes in my favor then it will find my pending orders then they will be triggered. But to jump in the market, you see when there is news like this, uh, you can just focus only on, on pending order. You can place buy pending order. If you want to sell, you can do the sell pending order. But sell, I don't think it's going to be important. You can just wait for the market to break before you can say you sell. For those who sell, you see. But when you buy, it's better just because the market can still, the market still above our, our 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 support line which means the market can still push higher very quickly so what can we do here is we can just draw our i see something like a resistance from this area which makes sense on on my side you can see that so it means if the market is going to consolidate around this it is still fine but as long as we can have a breakout if you can have a breakout it's fine then it's going to be a very nice one because this breakout can help us to say okay now it's time to have a nice bar but without that just relax the nfp can push the market very low because this thing is possible it can just try to create let me show you that this resistance can continue like this it's possible if the market is going to be weaker later on then that can be a disaster if you bought around this area because this can take some weeks or some days to come back there remember this is a very high place 
actually this is overbought at the moment. So if it crashes and it goes down, then we might see the market taking longer to come back on your trades. If you don't place the stop loss because you act like you are smart too much, some people they think they can outsmart the market. No, you can't. You can't. So that the best way is to flow with the market. Don't be the resistant way, it's not necessary. So just wait, just go with the market. If the market is going up, go up. If it's going down, go down. Simple as that. So we are on Jamin 30. Jamin 30 is also now, I like what I see. Uh, it's doing the same thing as Jamin, uh, as US 30. Uh, what I see is, is creating some nice rejections, which complement our, our uptrend. Can you see that? So if it reaches here, even if it doesn't reach there, we can throw something like this here as a resistance because the market broken that. Maybe the market is going to come here back and have a nice buy from that area, which is quite simple, which is easy to see. I don't think maybe you won't see that. Everyone can see that. It's quite easy to see. So I think we are going to be, we still are bullish as long as we are above this resistance. As long as we are above this a support, sorry, not resistant, a support line, we still bullish on NASDAQ, US 30, whatever that we're trading. As long as we are on an uptrend, we buy. If we are on a downtrend, we only sell, you see. So, yeah, that's what I see. You will think, you will change the direction when you see the market breaking that support. Then we will say, now the market is going down. Something like that. Easy as that. You don't have to complicate things. Make things easy for yourself. Because if you make them difficult, no one is going to make them simple for you. And I don't think the market will do that. The market is not here to take your money. But if you don't know what you are doing, the market will make sure that uh, that thing of money, transferring money from you and to the market, is going to happen. But you can still do the opposite. Transfer money from the market your bank account, then that's how you want things to happen. And you know, it's funny because people, they think maybe they can outrun or outplay the market. No, you can't do that. Just try to have a strategy, learn the basics, learn the trading psychology, emotions, stuff like that. Those things, they're going to help you long term. People, they run away from that. They change mentor to mentor, uh, looking for some secret codes, secret tricks where you can just kill the market like that. No, you can't. Just learn, learn the basics, learn the right thing. And it's quite easy because once you learn those things, everything starts to, you start to see the market in a different way. You start to see the market differently. But if you keep looking for shortcuts, you, when you, you man, you, you're going to take like more than so many years to make it in the market, or maybe you're going, just going to give up, you see. So please guys, don't, Follow those people who just always tell you, hey, I have something which will make you rich within two days. Hey, one, two, three. No, you know, remember there's 85% of people who are losing in the market. So please don't be one of them. So we're with France 40. France 40 is quite simple, straightforward. It's just a continuation of whatever that we did yesterday, days before that. So what I see is, the market is quite creating this. It's a great breakout that uh, we've seen in some similar to what we saw on, on NASDAQ. So you can have some something like this so that you can understand the market when it comes back. You can have resistance support like that. If maybe it comes back here, it will push up. If it comes back here, it will push up. Or maybe the market will just come down here and push up. But you see on front 40, this week, I never even bothered myself because this thing is very high, guys. Why would you want, unless if maybe you want to sell for those who people sell, yeah. But for us who only buy these indices, yeah, we're just waiting for the market to give us that brief in, then we can just take the market around there. But besides that, uh, we will just trade US 30, mostly US 30 and German 30. That is why that is what we're going to focus on because we see that they reject it. It means they can give us some very, very nice moves later on. But that can also be risky because we 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 expect an NFP later on, which might be very brutal. Uh, so we just need to be like uh, be smart uh, on our decisions uh, as always. 
So be careful out there and learn, try to learn, never look for the shortcuts, never look for something that will improve you within two days, because those are the, that, the those is it's actually a scam because people, they expect to improve within a week, within two, go down, learn those things. And you know what, once you learn, you can't even take three months to be right. You will, even a week is fine, as long as you follow the right information. You can find a, any other mentor out there. We also here, but you can still find any other mentor out there who is going to help you. Who is going to help you? But if you're just looking for shortcuts, uh, I just feel sorry for you. Well, thanks, guys. Uh, this is Kenzo Extra Hot Products. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that likes, like, share with your friends. Check check the description. You will find my contacts if you want to be in the group. I think now we are uh, almost 16, 17 people. I think we left with almost two to three people to join the group. And it's still $30 until midnight today. From tomorrow, it's going to be $100. So it's up to you whether you join or you don't join. We're still going to make money. It's up to you guys. So thank, thank, thank you, thank you. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button. This is Kenzo Extra World products. Bye.